big news there is that Shane Dowling, he's he's very much struggling with injury and it's it's hard to know if he'll be if we'll see much of him this summer because he had a knee issue and John Kiley said yesterday that progress hasn't been great, it's been slow and to be honest it's it's probably not looking great. Like it, it would be a fair one to, to have taken out of your panel. Yeah, it would indeed, yeah. Like if he's saying that now, the first weekend in March and they're playing in ten weeks' time, like it's not like you're coming back into a club scene where realistically if you get three or four weeks of training under your belt you can add an awful lot, be it off the bench or as a starting club player. At county level, I would say he'd have to be back training in the next month to play any part. Genuinely, I would say to play nearly any part between now and probably July. Just because you need that body of work under your belt. Like, Don't get me wrong, I'd say he's rehabbing. I'd say he's doing as much as possible to keep himself in great condition. But if you're not actively out on the pitch for you know, two to three months, you having a hope at inter-county level, realistically. It'd be a fair loss, yeah. Uh, the impact he's made off the bench in the last couple of years has been outstanding. Even he was the one that nearly helped him turn the screw against Kilkenny last year with that amazing overhead goal as well. You also have a free taker coming in. If any, if Galan is off form or if Galan gets injured or anything like that, you've already made free taker who's probably going to score. You know, he's going to be up around your 95% like you need as well. So he'd be a big loss and... You know, me and you know kind of Shane from the the kind of media circuit as well, and he's a very good talker as well. And I'd imagine he's a very good talker in the dressing room. And while he'd still be in the dressing room, I don't know if if, if you can relate to this. It's not the same uh, talking or having an input when you can't physically have an input. If you know what I mean. Absolutely. It might be, yeah, you it might be okay on a one-off basis, but uh, you know, as an inspiration, so to speak. But if you can, if you can, you know, talk to lads in training and the drills, and if you can talk to lads over there, and they know that you're going to come on, you you just can have a different impact on lads, I think, as well. You feel like your wings have been clipped a little bit if you're if you're if you're either injured or if you're gone down the pecking order in terms of the sub. Where whereas once you might have spoken openly in the dressing room and get fired up because you feel reassured by your own position in the in the setup, yeah, it can definitely compromise uh, your ability or your willingness to speak. Yeah, without without a doubt, yeah. So, yeah, he's probably he's probably going to be under pressure by the looks of things. When Kylie is saying that he's going to be under pressure, that means he is under pressure. Thanks for watching our game. Don't forget to like and share the videos. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe.